Today in the news, we got canceled NVIDIA plans, RX 6000, and RTX 3070 availability. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. With AMD's cards right around the corner, we'll talk about that in a moment, Nvidia had plans to strike back later this year, since the Navi 21 based RX 6000 series is said to include a massive 16 gigabytes of VRAM, Nvidia was planning to release two new variants of its current GPUs a RTX 3080 with 20 gigabytes of VRAM instead of 10, and a RTX 3070 with 16 gigabytes of VRAM instead of eight. Both cards were planned to be launched sometime in December, and we knew of their existence from several leaks, including this photo, which clearly shows these cards. Unfortunately, it seems like they won't happen. Apparently, Nvidia told their ad and board partners that plans for these high-end VRAM variants have been canceled. Not moved to 2021, just canceled. There are a few reasons why these variants could have been cancelled. It could be yield or capacity issues from Samsung's 8 nanometer process, GDDR6X yields for the RTX 3080, or simply a marketing strategy. I mean, Nvidia also cancelled the 3070 Ti, which would have had more CUDA cores, but we just don't know why they cancelled it. Could these come out next year? Maybe, but it looks like there will be no affordable cards with more than 10 gigabytes of VRAM on the green team this year. Next up, we got AMD. It looks like all of the information for the upcoming Navi 21 cards have been leaked, and since you might have already come across that information, I'll just go through them really quickly and add information about their release schedule after. According to current leaks, Navi 21 XTX is the RX 6900 XT, an AMD exclusive card for now. It has the full ADCUs or 5120 stream processors. The game clock is 2040 megahertz and the boost is 2330 megahertz. Navi 21 XT is the RX 6800 XT. It's cut down to 72 CUs or 4608 stream processors. The game clock is 2015 megahertz and the boost clock would be around 2200. Then we have Navi 21 XL, which is the RX 6800. It's cut down to 64 compute units or 4096 stream processors. The clock speeds are pretty low with a 1815 megahertz game clock and 2105 megahertz for the boost. All of the Navi 21 GPUs are expected to have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, a 256-bit bus, and all of those specs are for AMD reference cards, so add and board partner cards should have a significant boost in clock speeds. Igor's lab even teased a card that could go up to 2577 megahertz. Now for the new information, the 6900 XT is AMD exclusive for now, yes, but it also seems like it might be a pretty long time before it gets into the hands of AIB partners. According to my sources, the 6900 XT hasn't even been shared to partners yet, so it might take a while before we see custom cards. As for the 6800 series, while I don't have the release date, it seems reference cards and partner cards will be staggered with the reference cards releasing first and custom cards about a week later. Next up, we circle back to Nvidia. The launch of the 3080 and 3090 were pretty awful. It was plagued with low availability, poor store policies that allowed scalpers and resellers to empty the limited stock, and of course, the POSCAP slash MLCC debacle. Well, it looks like Nvidia is looking at redeeming themselves with the RTX 3070 launch. This information comes from Igor's lab, and I would link you to the video, but it's in German. I'll still link it. According to his contacts at AIBs, Nvidia is supplying 10 times the amount of RTX 3070 per week as they did with the RTX 3080. As for other GPUs, according to Red Gaming Tech, the uh, 3060 Ti will be released on the 17th of November. That's the card with uh, 38 SMs for a total of 4,864 CUDA cores and 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The RTX 3060 would launch next year in early January. On the 7th, according to his sources, that's a 6 gigabyte card, and the lower end RTX 3050 has a release window of late January slash February. 
library. That's a six gigabyte card too, but it would apparently have a four gigabyte variant. Four gigabytes, even for a 3050, is definitely not enough memory. I mean, I can't predict its performance, but it should be faster than a uh, four year old 1060, and that card had a significant performance difference between three gigabytes and six gigabytes, which it had. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And that's pretty much it for the catch up guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you wanna talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.